my name is John, welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. In tonight's nightcap, there's some view on meal coming, uh, a little package from Australia, and two from America. I know who these two are from. Uh, the big one's actually for, for Des and wife, the small one's mine. I'll bring the camera in and open them. I've had a good week in the workshop this week. Uh, I've done one or two repairs for people. I do a motorbike still on the head, it's got a broken exhaust manifold stud that somebody's trying to drill out and I have to cut the lug off and weld it up and remachine it. I'll show quite a bit of that. I've also got a big slab of aluminium uh, and I was making some engine mountains and he milled a big slot in the wrong place. Uh, it's, he paid a lot of money for the bit of aluminium so I weld that up and remachine that flat for him. This is the first one that turned up from a lad called John Timms. John actually lives in New South Wales, Australia. I opened it up at work just to have a look. A nice handwritten letter. Um, it's a tool for cutting holes in gaskets. Hope you can use the tool for your water pump or your vacuum pump rebuilds. Best regards, John. That's a tool there. It's simply a, it's a ball bearing welded onto a, onto a bolt. I'm sure how it's used, it's actually a clever idea. I've used ball bearings before for making gaskets, but never had a ball bearing fastened onto a, onto a bolt like that. You can see it's had a lot of use, it's all rounded off where it's been handled. This is a motorcycle, similar head will repair later in the video. This is how the tool works, you simply put the ball on top of the gasket material over a hole, and you gently tap it. It cuts out a nice clean circle. There's not many people who make gaskets now, but it is a quite a handy tool. I'm not going to used to make loads of gaskets. Anyway, that's how it works. It's a tool I can put away in a drawer with quite a lot of other handmade tools I've got. Something I'll use quite a lot actually. Once again, John, thanks very much. This is one of two parcels that turned up at work on Thursday uh, from a gentleman called Edward Kaldek. I've known Ed for quite a while. Ed's actually the admin. He runs a forum, metalworking forum, called Metalwork and Fun. I'll put a link on. It's quite an interesting forum. It's full of people like me who use machines and have strange interesting hobbies. Anyway, it's kindly sent a parcel for me and I want from your wife. I'll open this one first. I always find it interesting to read these when these papers have come. They're nice, little, little machinist jacks, really nice, beautifully made, I don't know if Ed made them or not, but they're beautifully done. Excellent, they'll get put to good use. And these are the same but bigger. That's beautifully nailed that. These really are nice. And these are the giant ones. 
Looks like it's been welded there and machined. Well, there really are a, a current of what I made them. They're very nice, nice fine thread. Beautiful, sharp nailing. I certainly use these. I see them used all the time in my videos. That's great there, thanks very much indeed, much appreciated. There we go, what a full set of them. That really is quality nail in that. Nice tight thread. Really nicely made. A friend of mine is busy making some custom engine mountains for a racing car he's working on he's got this chunk of aluminium here and he's milled a slot in the wrong place it's quite a big piece of aluminium and I think it was quite expensive he's had to buy it and he's asked me if I can weld that back up again it'll certainly be a good test for the for the water cooled TIG torch the material is nice and clean all I'll do I'll preheat it before I weld it I'll simply put it on a gas ring just to take some of the chill out of it. It makes a big difference getting some initial heat into it. I've got 260 amps to play with. Uh, I would think I'll probably need all of that to get it going and once it starts to weld I should be able to back it down around 180 200. We'll do the go and see what happens. The aluminium is fairly clean anyway. Put a bit where your brush won't do any harm. And what I want to do with this is just take the initial chill out of it. Just preheat it a little bit. It all helps. We'll leave it on there and let it cook for 10 minutes. Be a good time to have a cigarette now, but we don't do that anymore. This is what I'm going to weld it with. It's an Arctic welder, ACDC set with a water cooler. WP in water cool torch with a big tungsten in it. If you're going to pick hot things up with gloves on, don't put the gloves on. You just use them like two rags. If you put the glove on, if something, something's too hot, the glove will burn and burn your hands before you can get it off. These are 4034 aluminium rods, 3.2mm rods.
I've literally just finished welding and the torch is still relatively cool. And that's been running at 200 amps for the last 20 minutes, non-stop. I put 15 rods into that one weld. the edge on the cutter uh, to get a better finish but it's going to be machined anyway so it's I just want to make sure the weld that had no blow holes in it which it doesn't appear to have that's the cutter I'm using in the fly cutter it's basically a left hand knife tool with a nice round edge on it it has got a tip in it and then run that at 300 rpm obviously it depends how far out the edge the tip is sticking as to how fast it's actually going. That's probably three inches, so it's a, a six inch arc. Three and a half a.m. It's nice and solid, there's no blow holes or marks in it. It's putting a different finish on where the weld is because it's a slightly different composition of alloy. Anyway, I'm sure I'll be able to turn it over and machine the other side. How are you all doing? Hope you're all fitting well. Last, well, this week was only Sunday today. I had the last of my radiotherapy, all fingers crossed. So I've had my chemo, had my radiotherapy. So that's most of the treatment done, but I get an injection every three weeks till next year. So that's just an added bonus just to make sure I'm okay. Also, this week, um, this parcel arrived and it's from Edward um, Kedlek. I do apologise if I pronounced it wrong, but that's from America, I'm not sure where. Um, it does say Winstead, but I'm not sure where that is. As you say, John, let's have a knife again. Wow. Well, there we go. A letter for John. And a letter for me. The gift enclosed in this little box is just a little something to help comfort you on those days when you need to snuggle up and hope for the best. I've sewn about as good as I weld. Ask John about my welding. So I paid my sister-in-law to make this. Thank you very much. Wow, all bright, cheery colour. Oh wow. Push the bag off. Thank you. Oh wow. Isn't that pretty? Wow, thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciate it. I'll do when I've got my feet up on the puffy on the settee. I'm feeling chilly on the night time. Thank you very, very much.
ಮಕ್ಕಳುಗಳು ಇಲ್ಲ 